Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. All right, so was there any news that Mike, Walter, you guys wanted to go into? Did we, we talk about the 3D printing dude? Yeah, we did. Um, okay. I, uh, we did talk about him. I pulled up that article. The Gov had to, uh, um, had to admit they were wrong. Yeah. So, yes, I still have that article here. Um, the Justice Department has reached a settlement with the Second Amendment Foundation and Defense Distributed, um, a collective that organizes, promotes and distributes technologies to help home gun makers. Under the agreement, which resolved a suit filed by the two groups in 2015, Americans may access, discuss, use, reproduce or otherwise benefit from the technical data that the government had previously ordered defense distributed to cease distributing. So there you go. So <laughs> shout out to the Second Amendment Foundation for helping out with that. I'm a member of, by the way. Yes. Okay. Thank you for that, Walter. That's, that's one of the groups that, that you should support. Mm -hmm. So um, in what is, uh, so there's a whole bunch in this article. It's a long article. You guys should read it. So I'm just skipping down here. It says in what, is a very unusual move in ITAR actions. The government will pay more than 39,000 of the plaintiff's legal and administrative fees. Cody Wilson, chieftain of Defense Distributed, tells Wired that this is only about 10% of what they've spent yeah. on this. Yeah. And, and you know, this guy's fighting for us. Right, oh yeah. You guys yeah. know. Yep, I agree. So, you know, he's out there fighting for us. Yes, you can make stuff at home. If you're an American, <laughs> you can get that stuff off the off the interweb. Yeah, that is just another beautiful thing about America. <laughs> yeah. No, some yeah. countries like the Brits, you can't even legally own a book about how to say make a Sten gun or or stuff huh. like that. You can't possess that. You yeah, possess that. It puts your ass in jail. Yeah, I never wanted to say this. I was trying to hold off on this because I lived in England. You know, um, I have lots of family there and stuff like that. But England is fucked. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're going down the path of fuck them. Oh, um, no, they're, they're fucked. I was no, watching. I mean, as far as the country goes, they're going down that path real fast. You know. Well, I was looking at this video uh, at some news um, where they were talking to people in England and London and stuff like that. And people there have totally given up on having any kind of privacy. Well, because totally there's cameras up. everywhere in the whole country. So, yeah. And now there's rules over there that they can do all kinds of things, go through your messages and do all kinds of stuff. And the people there are not pushing back. They're like, oh, well, you know, there's cameras everywhere. We already don't have any privacy. So who gives? Who cares about privacy? Did you, see that? Did, you, did you see the thing the other day? I don't know if we mentioned it, but where the dude, the English dude said, I don't need a gun. I'll just go out the back door. You know, if something happens yeah. in the house, I got a back door. I'll just go yeah. out the back door. But what if the bad guy's ready to bushwhack you as you head out the back door? I don't know. It's like, what? So you're in your house. I'm, I'm going to be in my house. Somebody's kicking in my door, wants to get my stuff or go after my family. I'm just going to go out the back door. Yeah, go out the back door. No, I'm going to put some. <laughs> I'm going to put some rounds in them that are going to blow out their back, back, back door. door. <laughs> when they fire the pencil files in the house. <laughs> yeah, how about that? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> their back door is going to evacuate when they get. Uh, yeah. But yeah, that was up. that was that was that was an article about about you know how the this guy yeah. felt about guns and firearms yeah. and weapons and all this stuff. Yeah, I think England's done for. You're talking about a place, man. That um, there was. Oh, by the way, um, D. Seabell gave us five bucks. He says for the strange optics. <laughs> yeah. Now, now we got to make now we got to make strange branded strange optics. optics. Yeah, I mean. Uh, <laughs> I, I have some ideas for stuff I want to brand. I want to do a strange watch, but hey, we could do strange optics. Uh, you know, you know. Lola says there's an article about the uh, the British thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, All yeah. right. Yeah. 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 I got. I got it, woman. <laughs> Just keep an eye on the chat. Keep an eye on the chat. That's all you gotta uh, do. Yeah. Um, when you're you in trouble, you just dig deeper. That's how. 